guys and welcome back to my youtube channel and the and we are doing the 2.5d uh, platformer so we have reached to the reached to this point we have created a player moment as the basic enemy ai like this And uh, today we will learn how to add the mobile input and mobile control uh, for the for this platform again. So without wasting the time, we are going to import the asset, and it is the free asset for all. Just move to the asset store. Okay, so just open the looking for joystick look for joystick and uh, This is just scroll down and and the value free asset and then download this one dry stick pack. So first you need to download it and import. I have already downloaded it, so and the button will be pop up with the import, import, import dash. Okay, so I'm going to import it. Just import the whole package. Package is imported now. Minimize it and go to single. Then you can see there is a new folder named the joystick pack. So just directly go to the free pack. And now we need to create a new canvas. Canvas and just put the floating joystick inside the canvas. So select the canvas and then set the skin space to camera and just drag and drop, drag and drop one and camera to the. Okay, so then uh, set the constant pixel size to scale with the screen size. Then go to 2D view. So now you can see the canvas and the joystick. So we are just going to reduce the size by here. So make it 1.5. Okay. But I think it should be more. This is the area where you can touch so the joystick will appear. Okay, so we need only one the horizontal axis option. And this setting you can try by yourself and check what the effect is going on. So uh, okay, so I'm just going to directly to the character movement script. Okay, so take the reference for the floating joystick. Okay, and then take the reference here. 
and also we are going to create a boom value. Okay, and uh, here we going to check the platform. Yes, the application dot platform equal equal runtime platform dot Android. It means mobile. So you can also check for the iOS. And is mobile confirms to be blue. Okay, and uh, now we also take the reference for this. Okay, so okay, so now we are going to implement it on our update function or the functionality. So first of all, we are just going to replace the the get access horizontal uh, by the new uh, app joystick dot direction dot x. So it will be okay. And so now if if mobile control equal equal to then we will use the joystick functionality for this. Just copy this line, paste it here, and edit this thing to okay. And copy this and cut this line and paste it in the else. Condition like this, uh, and uh, one more thing we are going to do, we will create the jump function by the button letter. So, in this, uh, yeah, here we also put the if condition if is mobile control. Then move direction and replace this thing to f plastic dot direction dot x okay and keep the other line in else condition just write this line here and paste it here okay and now here is the other condition for animation switching so here we create the or condition so f joystick dot direction dot x is not equal to zero then the uh, this thing will happen. Okay, so now I think we have done with the joystick implementation. And one more thing, let me show you what is the problem with the canvas distancing. So okay, so this is not moving because this editor. So our mobile control is disabled. So when we go to the character movement script and check on the is mobile control, then it will start working. Okay. So first of all, we just move here to there, and also use the snapping. So now it is start moving, but the direction of the player is not working. So we just go to here and this is the thing which we need to change.
so here we also put a condition like this Okay, so now it will work. Just turn on the mobile control switch. Okay, so now everything is working fine but you can see the joystick is behind the objects so this is because of the canvas distance from the camera so you just need to select the canvas and where is the plant distance make it 5 only and okay so Now everything is fine. Where you touch the touch your mobile screen, where the uh, the joystick will appear. Okay. So now I'm going to create a jump button. You can also make it smaller by doing this. Uh, Yeah, I think now the size is better. Okay, so again go to asset stores, make it full screen. Just look for buttons. Don't forget to check the CD asset so you will find the buttons where uh, soon. Okay, so you can download any type of button, or maybe uh, you can also uh, download it from the Google with the normal image. Yeah, I'm going with glossy bubble. I have already downloaded the glossy bubble, so I just need to import it in my project. So import the whole package. Okay, so now go to the scene view and create a button inside the canvas. Yeah, and just let the pivot point to the corner and move it to here. Then I'm going to add the yeah, some nice image to the button sprite. So I think I'll go with the light green button. Like this. And hit the native set size and select the resizer. And when you hold the shift, so it will be automatically resized in the proportion.
okay okay so now i'm going to create the functionality for the jump button create a new function called make it false by default and inside the jump function we will make it true okay now go to the jump and here we are going to draw or each jump equal equal to and don't forget to make it false inside this okay so i think uh, yeah now one more thing select the jump button and uh, add a new component called the trigger event trigger event and add a new event called the pointer down yeah create a new event and drag and drop player to here click on no function and then character movement and then jump button okay so yeah let's check what happened okay so you can do you can do jump by space or clicking this button I can do this but actually uh, now I cannot jump because I have only one mouse <laughs> okay so this is the very simple tutorial for uh, adding the mobile input to our platform again Probably. hope you like this tutorial and please comment or uh, comment your suggestions on this video and don't forget to subscribe my channel and uh, in next tutorial we will add the attack functionality to the player and uh, also into the enemy so they will fight with the melee combat system Okay, so don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thank you. Thank you so much.